hello guys welcome to the channel i'm paul from fluta ferry today we are going to do something a bit exciting and here's what we are going to do so i have a scroll view here that scrolls down and a tab up here so i want on i want the effect on clicking on each of the tabs should scroll to that specific index now we have nine cards here about 10 cards let me put it like that starting from zero and we have by 10 tabs over here also counting from zero so the effects we're gonna add have here is clicking on tab 5 should scroll to tab to card 5 and clicking on tab 8 should go to tab 8 and clicking on tab 0 should go back to card index zero so i am I, I nicknamed this scrolling to index i scroll to index so we're going to get to the code how to implement this i hope you're excited to watch this and for if you're a first timer to the channel just click on the subscribe button and if you like the video thumbs up to the video and let's get started so i'm going to turn on my vs code if you don't have it get it turned on let's do something so i have a main uh, entry method here that actually runs a flutter app and also have a class here which is the my app and it extends stateless widgets if you've been you've done that already I'm happy for that and also I give it a title here Fluta demo and the theme I set the primary swatch to blue and I set the home to home page which I'm going to show you so I'm actually in the main file and I have two folders here the pages folder and the widget folder so I'm going to walk you through the home folder and here in the home folder I'm going to run this I'm going to run this so you get to see what I have here I'm going to open this and I think it's running okay in our home dot that file I hope you're seeing let me zoom in a little okay I hope you've seen this okay in our home page we extend stateful widgets which this class actually has a state so we're going to do most of the things here and in there we have an init method and which actually does nothing so going, i'm waiting to see if something comes up here it should be a black page because in our scaffold here we are set the background to dark to black and in waiting for that in waiting for that we're gonna go on okay so i'm going to import the dark smart because we're going to use it and also import a uh, get box offsets is actually a, a page a file here and we're going to use it also and what we're going to do next is set the list item just like you saw in the previous overview of what i showed you those cards and the tab is going to be the item here and i set it to double so in that we are going to save our offsets in this item and also i have set the item and to list to generate we are going to generate 10 index to this list and we're going to return index of double so it's going to be double index like one maybe 0 0.0 0 0.1 things like that and we are going to 
give our scaffold the body are going to add a stack because we want the the card the tab to be at the top on top of the card the cards and we have a single side scroll view which actually do the scrolling and also we have a column and which displays all the cards and i'm going to generate i'm going to do list the generate the item which is this item here then i'm going to return an alignment widget which is align and set the alignment to center so it actually centers everything and also a container and the container has a margin of this which is hesets.all that means all the margins will be 8 pixels and the height i set it to 300 pixels and the width to 600 pixels now the colors there here is where i use colors.primary so in this primaries we have list of material colors and i use the maths function which the maths folder the package here the dot maths to generate random integers of colors.primaries.length so and also i if you can see in the previous where i showed you you see uh, a text in the middle of the card saying card index and the index i'm getting it from the generated index here and also i add a style and the textile colors i set it to white and also the font size to 18 i hope you get that and also for i'm going to run this first i'm going to run this and see let's see what we have so everything is going to display here so the main reason i'm actually running this on the web i think it's more easy to showcase it very well because maybe our mobile phone screens might be small enough to display whatever i want to display so i'm going to maybe hot restart might do i'm going to hot restart this and okay i will just continue this should show all the cards within the range of 10 so i'm going to add some code here which is the tab let's try to work on the tab and i'm going to set the alignment to top center like it will be at the top here and i'm going to the shadow of this alignment widget is going to be a container and the container the margin i set it to 16 and the height of that container is going to be 45 pixel and the width i set it to the, the size of the screen and so it will be responsive and the shout and i make the shout a row widget and i generate the list we already have here and and i return an expandable widget which has a shadow of inquel and this inquel is what gives us that tap that on tap feedback the on tap and callback and here i i have a shout also which the margin is four and the text is tab the index which are interpolated here and the style here is set to 18 i think that should work and i'm going to stop this and try to run it again let's see what happens okay everything is running right now and here we are a column widget which generates this the item here 
we should get the item and look through it to give us these cards and the the aligned here which has this row that gives us the tab everything is working as we wanted so the thing here now we have these cards and we want to click in on we want the effect clicking on any of these tabs should screw to that particular index so how can we do this the thing now is for us to think about the offset of every card how we can get the offset of every card so if we, we can get the offset of every card that means we can screw to that index properly so i'm going to show you what i did though i don't know if it is very is performance wise you i i, I can if you have any best idea for each just leave it in the description below i am in the comment section sorry so i have this class here that i called get offsets and i'm going to to import to set this widget the shard widget which will will use to wrap this card on and yes that and also i return the container and the container is going to wrap this so what next we're going to do we're going to do a function that takes the offset and we pass the offset here and set the offset and we're going to pass that too so from there we can extract the offset from every card and use them so we're going to call the init state which is called whenever this card is created and the global key and yes here's what where yeah, it gets very interesting the global key does all the all the every jobs and from there we're going to set the pass the group uh, global key to the container and i'm going to set the and um, a local offset here which i set both the the dx and the dy which is the the offset of it i set them to zero and also i called on the box and using the call on the render box using the the global key calling on the current context of this class and then i'm going to find the render object and i used and i cast it to render box so i'm going to use this offset now and pass it here i'm going to set this offset to the box and i'm going to get a, a method called local to global so what this method does you can see it here it converts the given point from the local coordinate system for this box to the global coordinate system so that's what we want and the offset here i'm going to set it to zero and i'm going to pass the offset here i'm going to pass whatever offset here into this offset so we can use it in our own page and next thing we're going to do we're going to call the widget binding without that we're going to have problem so what the widget binding does it schedule a callback for the end of this frame whenever this frame is called and it has end as when it is called so i think that's all for this class and i'm going to save that and i'm going to go to home and i'm going to call that in so here it is get box offset so i spelled it a little bit long, wrong i'm going to i'm going to rectify that so i'm going to what i'm going to do here i'm going to go into this item and the index and i'm going to set the offset to that i'm going to save what all of this when this is loaded to the screen it's going to save them to this item now so that's what we're going to do and the offset we are taking is the dy and the dy is the 
Y component like if this is your screen the vertical is the dy and the horizontal should be the dx so I'm going to set that to the dy and it gets saves in the item here and what next I'm going to do I'm going to bring in a screw controller which will help us to screw to whatever offset we need and I'm going to initialize it to screw controller and also I'm going to pass it to our screw controller down here let me enlarge this in case you're not seeing and I'm going to in our tab here I'm going to pass in screw controller animates then the index the item and the index of it which is here and I'm going to set it there then I'm going to give it a duration of 40 milliseconds with it which is um, 0.4 seconds and the curve is going to be is in so i want that nice animation that is in so that's it i'm going to restart this so we see it fully working and i'm going to restart this i think so here is our final result and everything is working well clicking on this just scrolls to that index and the offset let's use it that way for a better explanation scrolls to that offset and displays it so why i'm actually using the web to do this is is better to run it this way and because we have more wider space and more it can run on mobile and can run everywhere that Luther can run so i believe this can solve a need of scrolling to index because in, without using any external plugins so i think this will solve the need so if you find this video useful just thumbs up to it and talk about it in the comment section recommend me more videos to talk on because actually on weekends that's what i do i take recommendations from people and i work on it so if you have not on a reminder if you have not subscribed to the channel i would like you to do that that was a motivation for me thank you and have a nice weekend